guys and welcome to my channel today i will give you guys the second part of the tutorial on how to get the conqueror title now this video will give you the basic requirements for getting the conqueror title in pubg mobile let's get right into it now the first thing you have to know is picking the right map i want to give a review of each map and this should help you in deciding which map to play in each tier. First map I want to talk about is Miramar. Now Miramar is the largest map in the game. It therefore gives the most rating points. There is decent amount of loot in the map and there are lots of inexperienced players which means there won't be many players that are familiar with the map and therefore give each player a decent fighting chance. Hot drop locations in this map include Picado, Los Leones, San Martin and El Pozo. Depending on which style of play you would like to adopt, either passive or aggressive, it's important to know these hot drop locations and to avoid them if you're not aiming to be an aggressive player on this map. But the downside about Miramar is that it sometimes takes a long time to match players and each game you play takes a lot of time because the map is so big you end up spending about 25-30 minutes per match and it requires a lot of skill to fight long range battles you will need to master recoil control and it's recommended to use this map when you get to platinum, platinum tier and you are trying to get to ace. Now vehicles are very very vital in rotations because this is a very very big map. The map provides decent loot so looting shouldn't be a problem as long as you land in a decent location. Smokes and utilities are also very very vital. They provide cover and can also aid in crashing locations and compounds. Heels and ridges also can be used for cover and used to each player's advantage. Players will be required to be very skillful in close range fights as well as long range fights. Players will be required to have a good recoil control if they are going to be able to take long range fights. Now Erangel is the most played map, it's the oldest map in the game and it gives great rating points although the loot isn't all that decent there are also many experienced and pro players playing erangel map all drops include pochinki military base school rosok and george po erangel also has a higher probability of hackers and it requires skill and great teamwork vehicles are very very important especially for rotations and getting into compounds crashing locations and disengaging from fights however it is very important to have good driving skills to navigate around this map good reflexes are also important to navigate around enemy bullets It is very important to avoid bridge rotations if possible. This is because enemies do lay ambushes at these bridges. So if you are ranking up, it's best to avoid these bridges. Players will be required to know how to guard compounds and prevent enemies from crashing at their locations. It's up to the ship. It is also important to push 
buildings together especially if you're playing duo or squads instead of pushing individually because you can be picked off one at a time now for Sanok it is a very interesting map although it gives a low rating point because of its size there is abundance of loot and it comprises of mixed players both experienced and inexperienced players hot drops include bootcamp paradise sometimes docks and pinan there are a lot of passive players or you can call them snakes in this map it requires skill and teamwork and it is recommended for low tier because of its low rating points it is very very important to have teamwork and good communication skills in Sandhawk Vehicles are very very risky due to the size of this map and personally I would advise against vehicles if you're pushing rank or if you're playing casually yeah of course rocks and threes will always provide a vital cover as well as fog sometimes in Sanok also making good use of high ground advantage will give you a better chance in taking fights Now due to his size, Sanok is known for third party and you have to expect every shot you take to be heard by nearby enemies. Candy is a large map which gives good rating points and also provide lots of loot. It also comprises of inexperienced players. Hot drop locations include Villa, Goroka and Podfotsto. It does however take long to match in high tiers and it also possesses a lot of compounds in the map. It also requires skill and lots of teamwork. Candy is a large map, so vehicles are very, very important for rotation and disengaging from fights. The candy also has lots of trees, rocks, and ridges, so driving requires good level of skill for getting yourself into trouble. A very very important tip though, enemies in Vikendi do leave tracks and footprints when they move so you can use this to your advantage in identifying the path which they have taken. Due to the presence of large number of compounds you have to expect fights everywhere. Now Livik map is the newest map in the game and it's also the smallest map which gives the least rating points. It also provides a lot of loot and many inexperienced players because they are not familiar with the map. Hot drops in Livik are very few because of its size but you have to watch out for Midstein and Power Plant. 
it does however has the problem of a lot of third parties it therefore requires speed in fights accuracy and lots of skill Livic therefore is recommended for the lower tiers when you want to rank up quickly from bronze down to gold so the next topic is going to be hackers and teamers which is the biggest challenge you're going to have if you're going to rank up well no one likes to be killed by teamers or hackers of course well teamers are players from different teams that are cooperating to eliminate other players in the map teamers are mostly found in solos and duos now for solos it's very very annoying to see four or five people fighting against you it gives you a little chance to survive as hackers are present all over the game all over the maps all over the modes and uh, the most common hack is obviously the location hack where the enemies know exactly where you are they know your every move now for teamers they can be identified in the lobby of course in solos and duos they love to wear similar outfits so that they can identify each other and not accidentally kill each other so once you're in the spawn island and you're playing solos or duos it is advisable to move around and try to identify these players that are wearing similar outfits and they always like to be together once you see those guys the best thing you have to do is to exit because you stand little or no chance against these guys however some teamers don't wear the same outfits in the spoil island or stay together and they get into the game with you so the best thing you will have to do once you spot these teamers the best thing to do is to disengage or to wait for them to make a mistake whereas for hackers the best thing is to get into your vehicle and move to the opposite direction get as far away as possible because they know where you are sometimes you can wait for them to make a mistake but they rarely ever make mistakes so now let's talk about tier rating tips it's always advised to have a playing style for each tier now for the low tiers it's best to be aggressive get those kill points get as many points as you can because the low tiers will give you most points once you get to platinum you know you're in the mid tier range so it's best to use the passive aggressive style be careful don't take unnecessary fights just get those good consecutive games as you rank up now in the high tiers from crown down to ace you have to be really really passive you have to be very careful because mistakes lead to huge deduction of points now to summarize everything i have to give you the basic requirements on which you have to have before you begin your rank up now the most important important thing you need to have is skill because you could have every other requirement but without skill you won't go far so it's good to have the skill and a very good iq so be able to have a plan b and to be able to take on fights and survive now device is a very very important part of your rank up and you have to decide if the ping is good enough for you to push also you need experience and knowledge you need to be committed and you need time because no matter how good you are if you don't have time you won't be able to pass other players that are trying to rank up and get above you in the game so to sum it up you have to know that Mirama gives the most points and that very important thing you have to know is when to use your rating protection card I personally recommend you use this when you are in crown, crown 1 or crown 2, the best time to use a rating protection card. So there you have it guys, the basic, basic, basic things you need to know for your rank up push. 
if you found this video helpful in any way please leave a like and uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment in the comment section below i'll see you in my next video guys thanks